What's up everyone, welcome back to JR Business. Now lately I feel like I've been starting out all of my crypto videos by saying, wow, what a crazy day it's been in the crypto world and today is no different. So in crypto news, Bitcoin Cash just got added to Coinbase, which is huge news. It's already up like 60% on the day. So too bad I missed that one, but oh well. And in other news, Cardano, since our last video a few days ago, is up about 50%. So I think it's hanging around 50 to 60 cents. So we're getting very close to the dollar mark I've been predicting. Now, last video, as you guys remember, we did a giveaway where we would be randomly selecting three lucky winners to be given 100 free Cardano coins to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on the computer, load up the comment section, and select three of those lucky winners who entered last video's giveaway by subscribing and leaving a comment. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and randomly select these winners. I typed in the URL here, enter. Winner number one is Warren Marsh. Winner number two is Atimolo. And lucky winner number three is Rui Lee. He said, I want coins. Well, you got 100 coins, sir. Lucky winner number three. All right, thanks everyone. So there you have it. Congratulations to those three winners. If you were one of the lucky winners, be sure to come forward to me so that you can receive your 100 free Cardano coins. Now, fortunately for you all, I'm in such a good mood. I'm doing another giveaway this video. To enter, just be subscribed to the channel and drop a comment down below, just like last time. And by next video, I will be selecting one lucky winner to receive 100 Cardano coins again. It's as simple as that. So don't forget to subscribe and make sure to drop a comment down below. Okay, so one last super fun thing before we get into today's video. So you guys see the F430 right there. So I know this isn't the JR Garage channel, but if you guys have been keeping up with the car content, you would know that my F430 just had a full Fab Speed race exhaust install. And that video is going to be live on JR Garage tomorrow. But I figure I would give you guys a sneak peek. You guys are gonna be the first ones, well, you're A, you're the first ones to even see the exhaust on the car, but I wanted to go beyond that. I'm gonna do its first startup ever on video and play it right now for you guys as a little sneak peek. This thing is the loudest car I have ever owned, ever heard, and my ears still hurt from yesterday. So without further ado, let's start it up. Oh boy, what? Have I done? Keys, 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 keys. You guys enjoyed that sneak preview of the new F430 exhaust. Um, <laughs> told you I wasn't kidding when I said that was the loudest car I've ever heard. Now my ears hurt again. Okay, enough of the car stuff, but if you guys aren't subscribed to my car channel yet, JR Garage, you're definitely gonna wanna do that. Link down below. All right, let's get down to business. We're hopping up to the office real quick. Got the whiteboard set up. I want okay guys, so I wanna give you a quick visual walkthrough of the process we are gonna be taking in order to buy cryptocurrencies, especially altcoins and things like Cardano or ADA. So let's go ahead and erase this from the last video. Okay, now first things first, my brother and I are not financial advisors. We're not telling you what you should do with your money. We're not telling you how to invest it. We're simply giving our opinions and helping you guys out with the process of buying cryptocurrencies. So initially, I think it's a lot easier to follow the process when I kind of draw it out here on the whiteboard. So let's begin. So most of you guys out there who are interested in buying cryptocurrencies most likely have US dollars. So you're probably wondering, how do I get my US dollars to the coins I want? Whether that being Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, like the big three, or that being some smaller coins like Cardano or Ripple or things like that. I'm gonna outline that in today's video. For the visual representation, I will be showing you how to go from USD to ADA, Cardano. So right off the bat, you're going to want to use an exchange to transfer your USD into one of the big three, Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Ethereum. So the most popular one and the one I use is called Coinbase. 
So signing up with Coinbase is quick and easy. And if you haven't already, be sure to use my special link in the description down below. That'll get you the best deal when signing up. It gives you $10 in free Bitcoin when you invest your first $100. So don't forget to use that when you're signing up. Once you're on Coinbase, the first thing you're gonna want to do is transfer funds. Now, there's multiple options for this. You can either do bank or something like a credit card or debit card. Now. Uh, keep in mind, a bank wire setting it up through your bank may take a while to get the funds transferred. It took me like four or five days. Now with a credit card and debit card, it's usually very quick, but the problem is they oftentimes will limit you on how much you can trade. I think that limits between like 500 and thousand dollars. So there's pluses and minuses to both for sure. But regardless, once you have the funds in there, red, your next step is going to be buying Bitcoin, Litecoin or Ethereum. If your end goal is just to buy Bitcoin, Litecoin or Ethereum, you're in good shape because you've done a lot of the work already. You can do it all through Coinbase and then just store it on a wallet. Now, if your goal was to buy some smaller coins such as Cardano, you are going to have to buy one of these big three to transfer over to your smaller coin, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. You cannot simply buy Cardano with USD and just throw money at it and expect Cardano back. No, unfortunately, it takes a few more steps as of right now at least. So you have to buy Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. So Bitcoin is oftentimes pretty slow. I would kind of stay away from that. Ethereum's good and Litecoin's good too. It's a much quicker transfer, but regardless, any of the three are fine. So now once you have one of those big three, you're gonna have to use another exchange in order to buy your smaller coins. Now, once again, a popular one and one that I use would be, we're gonna use Blue. The name of it is Binance. So this is a popular exchange. It'll let you buy a lot of the smaller coins. Now keep in mind guys, not all coins are going to be on Binance. If you're looking for some like super duper tiny coin that no one knows about, it's gonna be a lot harder finding an exchange that's traded on. But here's a pro tip. If you guys use the website called coinmarketcap.com, it'll show you all the coins that are currently out there. And if you click on the coins and click on markets, it'll show you which exchanges it's traded on so you know where you can buy it and sell it. But overall, Binance is really good. They have plenty of coins listed on there. They have Cardano and a bunch of other coins, so you'll probably have what you're looking for. And also, once again, in the description down below, I have a special link to sign up with Binance if you're not signed up already to get the best deals, so be sure to check that out. So once you're signed up with Binance, you're gonna go ahead and take one of your big three, the Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Ethereum you just bought on Coinbase, and you're, and you're gonna transfer that over to your Binance account where you can then buy smaller altcoins, we'll say. Uh, all the way to the end there, okay. So that's it in a simple kind of layout. Now we're gonna show you the exact step-by-step -step process for all of this on the screen recording here in just a moment, but I wanted to kind of give you guys a visual. So I totally get that it's confusing at first thought, but when you kind of see it, it makes sense. You know, if you wanna go from your USD to a smaller coin, you use Coinbase or a similar platform, and you transfer funds into it, you buy one of the big three, and then you can use those to transfer over to a Binance or a similar platform. And then from there, you can transfer those big three into smaller coins, and then you have smaller coins. And then of course you would store them if you're going long-term in an offsite wallet so that it's protected. And we'll get into that in the videos. But there you guys have it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on the computer and show you guys step-by-step -step how to buy these altcoins. All right, everyone, welcome to my computer. I'm gonna go ahead and take you on a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to buy cryptocurrencies. So step number one, like I said on the whiteboard, if you're not already on Coinbase or a similar platform, be sure to go to the description on my videos, and right here you will find a link to Coinbase where you get $10 in free Bitcoin when you sign up, so it's the best deal around, so be sure to use that link, and you just simply enter your information here, and once you're done doing that, you are taken to this page. This is your landing page. So like I said on the whiteboard, your first step is going to be transferring money into your Coinbase. Now this is my demo account, but I have some of this already filled out. So here you'll see you can attach a bank account or you can use a credit or debit card. Keep in mind the bank account's gonna take four to five days to process, so it'll take a little longer. Regardless, you have options. Bank account, credit card, debit card, and I believe you can do PayPal as well. So. Once you have money transferred to your Coinbase, you have the ability to buy cryptos. So, like I said, Coinbase offers Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and now Bitcoin Cash. But we're going to focus on the big three here. 
Now, I would recommend Ethereum. It transfers very quickly and it's very compatible with Binance and buying Cardano. So once you have the money in your account, you can just go ahead and click buy, Ethereum. You can select your payment method and then you're gonna type in how many Ethereum coins you want or the US dollar amount and you click buy Ethereum instantly. So once you are at that point, the Ethereum will show up in your Ethereum wallet on your account. So like I said, if your goal was just to buy Ethereum, you are well on your way. But if you're looking for smaller coins, you're gonna have to transfer this over to another exchange to buy the smaller coins. So that is what I'm gonna show you right now. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and come back to the description area on my video, and we're gonna go ahead and click this link for Binance it'll take you to a window looking like this where you can register. Once you enter your information, you will be taken to the home page, which looks like this. You're gonna go ahead and hover over funds. Then you're gonna click on deposits withdrawals. And then from here, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down to Ethereum, which is right here. And you are going to click deposit. Remember, we're transferring from Coinbase into your Binance account. Now this part you have to be very careful with. This is your deposit address for your Ethereum coins. You're going to go ahead and copy this address. Be very careful you do not change anything in this address or else you will be in big trouble. Once you have that copied, you're going to go back over to your Coinbase. You're going to click Ethereum wallet and you're going to click send. That address you just copied, you will paste into here. Once again, make sure it matches perfectly. Do not change anything. And now we can withdraw from our Ethereum wallet. You can enter the amount you want here or you can click send max, however you want to do it. Once you hit continue and send, it will be on its way to your Binance account. So to track that, come over here. This is once again the landing page. Go under funds and click history. That will let you track your transfers. It would show up here as your latest transfer once it hits. So once the transfer is complete and you have the Ethereum in your account, you will then be able to start buying the smaller cryptocurrencies. So to do that, you would click on Hover Over Exchange and click Basic. That will take you to this window. By the way, make sure to be patient. Everything is going very slow with all the activity on these websites. So let's see. Okay, so here we are. You are taken to this window. It looks very hectic, but don't worry, it is an organized chaos. So now, over here on the right, you are going to type in this bar the coin you are looking for. If it is Cardano, then you would type ADA, and you would click on Ethereum, because that is what you are paying with. Okay, so here we go. We can see uh, some charts, some live uh, buying and selling going on here. So it does give you a lot of information. So if you scroll down, you'll see these two buttons here a limit and a market button. If you're looking to just instantly buy some at the market price, you would click on this, very easy. It puts it in at the market price and you type the number of ADA coins you would like. Or you can put a percentage of your Ethereum balance into that coin, whichever you'd like. Then you would simply click buy ADA. Now if you want to enter a limit price, you can go ahead and enter that limit price in the amount you want. A limit basically just says you don't wanna pay over this amount and this amount is whatever you type in. So if it's currently trading at 0.000619 Ethereum, you can go ahead and enter, I want to only pay this. And you can go ahead and submit that buy order. And once it hits this price, it'll go ahead and execute. Now, if it keeps going up, you're not going to get your coins. So that's something to consider. If you want it now, you're gonna have to pay the market price. So once you execute your order, you will be the new owner of your cryptocurrency. And then you can view that by going over here, funds with deposits withdrawals once again, and you can see your balance of your various coins. And now, a lot of you guys have been asking about wallets and storage. I plan to make an upcoming video talking all about that. So comment down below if that's a video you would want to see. Now I did tell you guys I would show you how to transfer your Cardano from your Binance into a wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. So you're gonna come over here to the Daedalus wallet. This is the only wallet that can store Cardano coins at the moment. Once you're here, you're gonna to wanna to scroll to the bottom where it says download and you're gonna download based on what computer you have. Now this will take a while, anywhere from like a day or two, kind of depending on the speeds. But once you have it downloaded, you're gonna go ahead and pull it up, enter the information to set it up. And then once you are here, you can click on receive and you can copy your wallet address again be very careful click the copy button then you will come over here to your binance wallets 
come over to your Cardano wallet and you're going to click withdrawal. Now with that address you copied from your wallet, you are going to paste that right there. Again, be very careful that it's absolutely perfect. Now you're going to enter the amount you want to transfer. In this case, it would be all and you would click submit and it is simple as that. Then it would be transferred over for safekeeping and security in your day Dallas wallet for storage. So that's how that works. Again, if you guys want me to explain more about security and storage, please let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, that that's really it. It's not too hard, especially when you do it once. It's going to be very, very easy in the future. So quick overview, you're going to want to start by setting up a Coinbase. Be sure to use the link in my description to get $10 in free Bitcoin. Once you set up your account, you will land right here on your landing page you can go ahead and set up a payment method to buy ethereum once you have that you are going to transfer that over to your binance account and then once it is transferred into your binance you can go ahead and buy smaller coins again i did ada for example say you want ripple xrp you would just type that in bang click that and you can buy ripple it's really as simple as that luckily binance offers a myriad of coins you can invest in so there are quite a few options when it comes to that and then once you buy them you can go ahead and store them on an external wallet for safekeeping which i can go into more next video so anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this section let's go ahead and take it back to the office there you guys have it we're back i hope you enjoyed that step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to buy cryptocurrencies and altcoins i hope that cleared up some of you guys' confusion and made it a little easier to understand a kind of difficult process i tried to explain it as quickly and efficiently as possible but regardless if you guys still have more questions that's totally fine drop them down in the comment section down below i'll do my best to answer them and feel free to comment if i left anything out or you want me to expand on something i talked about totally cool with that also, be sure to comment down below what business videos you guys want to see next. I know I still owe you guys a house update video. That one is coming soon, along with some other great business videos. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. Please give this video a big like if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave a comment down below to be entered into the giveaway. Subscribe, comment. That's all you got to do to be entered. I'll be announcing the winner next video. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Bye.